All right, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for your time today. We are Shovel Solutions. My name is A.J. Davidson. I'm in Street. We're proud to present to you our product that we call Shovel. To give a quick overview on who we are, we were founded in 2019. We're based out of Oxford, and we've built a digital marketplace and logistics platform for the mineral foundation and pre-construction industries. And these industries are responsible for laying the pad of foundation on development sites required for any further construction process to occur, kind of like the hotel that we're in right now. And what Shovel does in a nutshell is it triangulates business operation and activity between all those involved in live time, digitally, and on one platform. And this being a prerequisite process to everything we live in, work in, and look at, it's going to be around for a while, and it's facilitated by three main job, main ecosystems. Um, that being the jobber, which is your builder and your customer, and they work with pits to get the product that they need, and trucking groups to get that product delivered. The way the process works today, um, a jobber at a site will call a pit, they'll talk about a price per load, then they'll figure out how many trucks they need uh, for the job to get done. They'll call around, they'll both call trucks until they either get the number of trucks they need or until their options are exhausted. And whenever that happens, the project begins and human error occurs with um, whole punches and tickets and handwriting tickets. Um, accounting across the board is a complete nightmare. Jobbers have to, don't know who, what trucks are coming in uh, day in and day out. They cannot track them uh, by the hour. And at, at the end of the night, they have to line up tickets and see who brought what. Pits have two, three, and four jobs coming out at one time possibly 50 trucks. That is a juggle in itself, keeping up what truck goes where. Truckers, they have no GPS showing them where to go. They have to knock off early on Friday to collect the check and the truck's not running. I say a job, um, a job finishes you know, at lunch. They have to go home because they have no central job market to show them what jobs are available and they, therefore they're losing money. And if these pain points exist in 2021, it's almost helped us understand that this market that we're targeting is technologically famished. Um, and though we have some great uh, opponents out there with great products, um, they can be hard to use, access, and understand. Um, and those barriers uh, make it hard for current users in the market to find those appealing. So if we can capitalize on that, people leaving cities and smaller communities growing, economies rebounding, and the fact that there's a healthy handful of operations that the gospel of shovel can resonate with, we feel really confident that now is a great opportunity and window to introduce a new product to the market. And Shovel is uh, an application software. It's broken into three different applications, and those work together. And they triangulate, automate, and GPS locate every step of the process along the way. And it does this, ooh, sorry, I keep going back and forth. It does this through a public marketplace that we call the Shovel Network. Sorry. And um, there we go. And then, so te technically speaking, so, Shovel is a software as a service. It accentuates accounting, tracking, and marketplace capabilities. Um, and it's done so on a cloud-based, very quick and nimble platform. And we're currently in our beta trials. So the new life cycle in this industry will happen by the jobber will have a site, he'll hit a button, it'll drop a pin. He'll type in shovel what mineral it needs, whether it be red dirt or brown dirt, then a map of all the pits in his area with their price per load will pop up. He'll find his pit, then he'll type in the number of trucks that he needs and what he's paying them per load. The truck will be at, the, at his house, he'll look at his phone, and he'll see all the available jobs. And when he picks which one is most beneficial to him, he'll GPS him to the pit. He'll G when he gets loaded, a pin will drop. Then he'll GPS him to the job. When he unloads, a pin will drop. One and one, two and two, three and three. The beauty of this is it's visible on all three platforms live, and everyone can get paid and will be paid with the touch of a button via shovel. So with the new process that Shovel provides, some of the immediate solutions uh, that a subscription user will experience is an automated process from end to end that eliminates paper-based tickets as well as silos of record keeping. Um, and it allows people to get paid easily or make that payment with the push of a button. It gives people lifetime project information and it allows jobbers to quickly get that project up and rolling. Pits to sell that product and truckers that, like Ben said, always know what's going on and where that next job is going to come from. Um, and this, an overall benefit, is a fully comprehensive business experience for these users that they currently don't have. Now, the market of construction, the entire industry, like many, suffered a blow from COVID, but it is recovering. 
The residential sector by 2025 is expected to grow 13 percent to $700 billion in revenue. The non-residential is growing a little bit slower, but seeing $800 billion in revenue in 2025. And the global construction industry is expected to see revenue of not $1 trillion like it says, but actually $15 trillion with a $69 trillion investment in infrastructure globally. We had 75 beta commitments when we submitted this, and now we have 90. And we are currently getting to use that stash of people in the beta trials we're running right now. And our market's interesting because it's a niche of the industry that expands onto local, regional, national, and global plans. And our competitors, we have three that we keep an eye on, Soil Connect, Truck It, and Go Ruck It. And as we've mentioned, an integrated payment system easily able to onboard users. A marketplace and GPS tracking are things that aren't, or capabilities that aren't necessarily provided right now. And though our competitors, like I said, have great products and provide and satisfy some of these issues, Shovel does all of them, whereas our competitors only hit a few. So our business model, we're going to give Shovel to our users free for 60 days to let them see the true value of Shovel. And then we'll charge them $100 per user, $20 additional user. Now that comes out to $4 a day, which is 5.5% U.S. minimum wage. We are launching January 1, 2022, which means revenue March 2022. We've had we've been approached by other industries, such as moving snow, tracking poultry trucks. So who knows where it can go. And how we're going to approach this market is we're going to target both metro and micropolitan areas. But the micropolitan areas, like we said, have a lot of runway and are very appealing. And we're going to target these areas with two different types of marketing, traditional boots on the ground kind of marketing to put a face with the brand and be able to help satisfy some questions that some of the older dogs in the industry may need to be comfortable in transitioning. And then we're going to supplement that with a digital marketing campaign, a hyper-local one, which allows us to wash, rinse, and repeat once we perfect it in the geographic area. And we're going to use Google Ads and run that LinkedIn and Facebook to make sure that we're targeting these individual sub-ecosystem user groups while being able to create brand awareness throughout the industry as a whole. These are some numbers that we've projected. We've very conservatively forecasted these. But at the end of year one, our Mendoza line was to have at a minimum 150 users. We now have far past that in terms of commitments we can convert, which is a great thing. But by the end of year five, our Mendoza would be to have 3,000 users at a minimum. That comes out to about over $2.5 million in revenue. And I think that is a testament to showing that 3,000 users would get us that. And that's less than half of the 7,306 operations in Mississippi that we could potentially go after. So I feel like the opportunity is definitely there. And 5% of the U.S. market is $74 million. And 5% of Mississippi is 500, or give or take, 500,000. So it just kind of goes to show that's just one state. We've got 49 more of them. So in summary, Shovel is a software as a service. It highlights marketplace and logistic technologies to triangulate, automate, and GPS locate, allowing Shovel to make history, keep promises, and track product. And Shovel's coming to a theater near you, and we're very excited at the beginning of next year to hit this very underserved market in the mouth and make some headway. And specifically, we are through our beta trials. And once we wrap those up, we'll work the kinks out. We'll launch our website. We'll do a full launch in here in Jackson at the beginning of next year. And in the next six months, we aim to hit all of our fundraising goals and be boots on the ground on January 1. So thank you for your time. If you all have any questions, we'd love to answer them. Yes, sir.
headaches subsided since all of that happened? And yes, and kind of what Ben was saying earlier, these white label opportunities that have approached us have led us to begin thinking about industries like the wood market, wood product market, to begin putting the same principles of shovel and putting it in wood or whatever you want to call it. Yes, sir. Any questions? What type of investment are you looking for? And would that be primarily for marketing and trade shows? So we've got an initial injection of capital. And right now, the gap that we're trying to close would be dedicated to a marketing budget as well as an operational budget. And that can be dissected between the cost of actually running the software and then us being out on the ground, out in the field and being there in person. It would be nice to have a room for six months. Do y'all have a background in shoveling? Yes, sir. My family's been in the dirt industry for six or seven years. We've had miscounts. I know I've messed up. Trucks, they want to be paid for every load they deliver. And when three people have three different numbers, it's, you know, who can you believe? So there's a real niche, a real gray spot for everyone. So we're trying to take all of that out and really save people time and money, keeping trucks busy, keeping pits, I mean, keeping everyone busy. So connecting everybody. Thank you. Thank you all.